Hello and welcome back. In our last video, we created our first catalog and we have seen how we can set external location at catalog level for the managed table data. Today, we are going to work with schemas and we are also going to set up our first schema with external location for its managed table data. Now, I have already created a notebook called schemas. Today, we are going to create three schemas. The first schema will create in the default dev catalog where we have specified no external location at the catalog level. The second schema we are going to create at the dev external catalog where we have specified external location at the catalog level. Third schema we will create inside the same dev ext catalog but this time we will specify external location at the schema level. Now we are going to create three tables at three different schemas in order to see how the data for the managed table is stored when we have external locations defined at schema or catalog level. Before that if you have not seen our previous video I would recommend you to go back and watch them first. So without any delay let's begin. Now before we can go ahead and start creating our schemas the first thing that we need to create is we have to create a folder in our ADLS location so that we can store the external data for that schema level external location. So I'll go back to the same data container that we created in our previous video and inside the ADB we created this catalog folder in order to define it as an external location for catalog level storage right. Now I'm going to add one more directory here called scheme. And now we are going to use this schema folder in order to store our data for the schemas which has the external location specified. Now we are not going to create any new storage credential today. We are going to reuse the same storage credential that we created in our previous video. But we are going to create an external location for the schema path that we just created. So if you don't know how to create storage credentials, I would recommend you to go back and watch the previous video for catalogs where we have created the catalog with an external location. Now I am back in my notebook. We are going to use SQL. So I have changed the language for this notebook to SQL. So the first thing we need to do is we need to connect our compute, right? And that is not running. So let me just start and attach that compute. So the compute is starting. I'll pause the video here and I'll come back when our compute is up and running. My compute is up and running, right? So we can go ahead and run our commands in the notebook now. So in order to create a schema, we need to write create schema. And then we need to provide the catalog where we want to create that schema. So first we'll create the schema in our dev catalog and we'll name the schema as branch. Okay. And now I'll just add one more thing here, which is called comment. And I'll add one comment here. Okay. Let's go ahead and run this. So I'll run this. Now it says, okay. It means our schema creation is complete. Let me just go ahead and expand the dev from the left hand side. And you can see a branch schema here, right? Now, if I expand this, there is no data because there is no tables, views or anything created under this schema right now. Okay. So we have created our first schema under dev branch. Okay. Let me just go ahead and create other schemas as well. And in the end, we'll compare all of them. Okay. To do that, I'll just copy the same command here. And this time we will create our schema under ext. Okay. Dev ext is the catalog where we have specified the external location at the catalog level. Okay. So we are going to create the same schema, but this time under the dev ext catalog. Okay. I'll just say this is the schema in dev ext catalog without external location. Okay. So I'll run this now. Awesome. This says okay. So if I go ahead and expand the dev ext, you can see the bronze schema here. Right. Now let's create another schema, but this time we will specify the external location for that schema. Okay. Now, before we can go ahead and create a schema with external location, it is important to define an external location in Databricks. So let me just go back to the catalogs tab on the left hand side. If I go to external data in the external location, there is no location specified for schemas, right? Let's go ahead and create one. To do that, I'll use the same query that we have used in our previous video. Okay. So I've just copied the same query that we have used in our previous session, but this time I've changed the name of external location as ext schema and I've changed the ADLS path as well. In the end, I've changed it to schema, right? This is where we are going to store the data for our schema external location. And I'm going to use the same storage credential that we have created in our previous video. Okay. So I'll just run this. It says, okay, it means our external location is created. Let me just go back to catalog explorer. And now we can see the external location ext schema is created. Now we can go ahead and use this external location to create our schema with this external location. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and copy this location first. And now we will write our query to create schema with external location. The query is same. We'll write create schema and we will use fext dot branch and we'll name this as ext for external schema. Now we need to provide the location. So we'll write manage location and within single quote, I will paste the location. Okay. And I'll just add the name of the schema in the end. So this would be the location where the data for the managed tables would be stored for this schema with external location. Okay. And I'll just add a comment. 
okay and i'll just run this awesome this got created okay let me just go ahead and refresh and under dev ext you can see branch and branch ext okay so now we created three schemas one is under dev okay one is under dev ext and one external location schema with dev ext okay now that all our three schemas are ready let's go ahead and create three tables in all of the three schemas that we created recently in order to see how the data for those managed table are stored in all of the three schemas differently okay so i'm going to create a table called raw sale in each of the three schema and i'm just going to insert a demo data so let's start with the dev branch first so i'll write dev dot branch dot raw sale okay so it is going to create a managed table called raw sale under dev branch schema and we are going to insert this demo data okay so i'll just copy this again and i'll paste it in insert data also okay now if you notice this is three level namespace okay we have catalog dot schema dot table name okay this is what we call three level namespace so let me just go ahead and run this awesome so our data is inserted and the table is also created so you can see raw sale here right let's go ahead and do that for the dev ext branch so i'll just change to dev ext branch so this will enter the data in the branch schema where the dev ext is the external location catalog okay so i'll run this awesome this also completed so if i go and expand this and you can see raw cell here let me just change it to branch ext where branch ext is our schema with external location okay under the same dev ext catalog so i'll run this again awesome this also completed okay now let's go ahead and describe the data to do that i'll just go ahead and type describe and i'll use extended in order to see the locations as well along with the table data okay and i'll write dev dot branch dot the table name which is raw sale okay and i'll run this now let me just scroll down to bottom and if i expand the location just check the location where the data is stored you can see the data is stored under the meta store location which we created previously and under that we have tables created and you can see the id of the table where the data is stored okay so if i go back to my storage container and if i go back to my blob container root and we have the meta store created at this location so this is the id of the meta store and if i expand this you can see tables under this this is the table id and under this you can see the delta data okay so i'll go back to schemas again and i'll just copy this and we'll see this for the other two as well so i'll just go down and i'll paste it here and this time i'll make it dev ext and i'll run this awesome if i scroll down to location again and this time you see this is stored at the catalog level okay this was the external catalog that we created and under this you can see unity catalogs and under this this you have a catalog folder and under this this is the catalog id under this it is creating tables and the table id that it has created okay so this is a different location at this time the data is stored at the external location that we defined at the catalog level okay so let me just go ahead and copy it again and this time we'll do it for branch ext so i'll mention branch ext now and i'll run this awesome this completed again i'll scroll down and i'll expand the location again and this time if you see the data is stored at the schema level which we just created okay so this is an external schema created with location and the managed table is stored at that schema level you can see branch ext and under this you have the schema id and then the table id okay and this is where the data is stored you can go ahead and check that in the azure portal as well so i'll go back and i'll go to container in the data i'll go to adb and in catalog i'll expand this i'll go to catalogs this is the catalog id and under tables you'll find the table okay so this is the table id where the data is stored similarly if i go back fill the data again under adb under schema if i expand the branch ext under unity storage schemas this is the schema id under tables you will find the table id and this is the location where the data is stored okay now same thing you can go ahead and check from databricks catalog explorer as well so i'll just go to databricks workspace on the left hand side you can see catalog i'll just go to this and from here we'll just expand the dev catalog the branch schema and i'll click on the table and you can go to details and here you can see the location where the table is stored okay and you can also find the table id here so this is the table id and this is the table id at the location so what unity catalog does is it stores your table data with the table id as the name of the folder okay it is no longer the name of the table rather it is the id of the table and you can find the table id under the catalog explorer in databricks okay same if i go and expand the dev ext now and under the branch and if i expand the raw cell again go into the, the details you can find the location and id of the table so this is the id of the table you can find it here now if you click on branch 
you can see the schema details as well you can click on details and you can find the meta store id and the id of the schema as well so this is the id of the schema let me go back to the other schema that we created which is bronze ext and if i expand this the details you can find the location where it is storing the data as external location and the meta store id and the schema id from here okay this is the same schema id which it is using to create the location okay this is the same id here and this is the same id here okay if i expand this and go to raw sales and click on details you can find the location where the table is stored as with the table id you can see this is table id this is table id this is the schema id okay and this is the location which we created as an external location for the schema to store its managed table okay now the thing to notice is all of the tables that we created were managed table and now we can specify the exact locations where you want to store the data specifically you can specify this location at the meta store level catalog level the schema level now if you are going to create an external table you can always specify the location at the table level as well but for managed table now you can manage the data at different levels in unity catalog object model you can do it at a schema level you can do it at catalog level and also at meta store level if you like my content please make sure to like and subscribe put down your feedbacks in the comment in our next video we are going to look into external tables we are going to look into some of the important topic called drop and undrop till then keep learning keep growing keep sharing